Yeah, obviously the game that still aren't in go well for you guys today. What, what do you remember about that game and what was your all's reaction when you learned that you were going to get to play him again and get to play him out here, you know? Uh, they beat us pretty bad. Um, obviously, we remember that loss. Uh, it was probably the worst loss we had last year as a team. And, uh, we're just looking forward to getting a chance to play them again and come out and get better and, and get another win. Uh, kind of what Trey just said. It's just uh, we remember that loss. Uh, it, I think they gave one of the uh, worst loss last year. And we're just ready for Saturday and trying to come out with a win. Were you guys excited when you started getting a shot at them instead of playing, you know, Baylor or whoever? Uh, I mean, I, I guess. I mean, it's just another – Game on the schedule is uh, an important game because it's the next game. So we just take it one game at a time. For both you guys, winning that game on Tuesday, how big was that for your confidence going forward in the season? Finally, get that monkey off your back of winning on the road. Uh, it was big. Uh, I think we went from like 12 in the SEC to like six after that win. So it was big, and uh, it was just big to get a big road win. Um, no people think we we ain't we just a home team and we couldn't get a win on the road. So it was, it was a good win for us and a, and a good test for us. I think it was a great road win for us. Uh, we, I think we proved a lot of people wrong. And we just got to continue to try to prove people wrong and just uh, be ourselves and play hard on the road. Uh, for either of you that want to answer this, it looks like Anton's been playing through that injury for the last week or so. I wonder what you all have thought about his play, in particular what he was able to do late against Georgia. I think it was uh, very impressive. Uh, as I said the uh, last interview I did with you guys, I don't think he's hurt. It's just a mental thing with him. So I think he's all right. He do what he do, and, uh, night in and night out. And we know, he know, we know what, we gonna, what he going to bring us. Uh, yeah, like JB said, we know what he going to bring us. Uh, I ain't worried about Anton. Uh, his, his injury is uh, not that bad. Uh, I think he hurt, it. He hurt that same uh, foot a lot of times. So I, I won't be – he'll play. He'll be ready to go. Saturday. Yeah. Trey, how, speaking of injuries, how, how's your hamstring doing? Uh, it's solid. It's getting there. I ain't 100%, but I'm all right. Hey, Jalen, as the, the minutes continue to pile up for you, have you had to adjust anything you do to kind of stay f as fresh as you can during games? And, and how tough is it maybe during those games when those minutes start to pile up? Uh, nah, it's, I mean, I'm just maintaining, I guess. I know. Uh, a lot of things going on in the games, people getting foul trouble, somebody might get hurt. I just know I got to just stay consistent and just keep doing my role and just uh, be there for my team, you know, bring the leadership, encouragement, and just do what I do best. I guess for both players, uh, just the, the contribution of Darius Hall has made. Has that been a surprise and kind of what has it meant that with him starting or you can bring Macon off the bench? Uh, There's no surprise to me. I mean, he does it in practice every day. He works hard, you know, he stays out to practice and work on his shot. He do a lot of different things for us and he's working for us right now and it's great for our team. Well, yeah, like he said, um, he do it every day in practice. Uh, we're not surprised at what he can do. It's just about him getting better each each and every game. And um, yeah, when, as you talk about him starting and Daryl coming off the bench, I think it gives us that balance that we need as far as um, scoring or whatever on offense and defense, I think. Inserting him in that starting lineup just gives us that balance that we have with the starting five and then that second unit coming off. I don't know much scouting you guys have been able to do yet with coaches, but when you look at this Oklahoma State team, is there anything that you guys focus on knowing that you need to stop on Saturday? Uh, no, we don't worry about the other team too much. We just worry about ourselves and what we got to do. and just We just come out and play hard and just play defense. So we want to be fine. Trey, I mean, I know you've been here a long time. You made a lot of nice plays, but I, I can't remember if it was Jalen or Daryl said the other night that was the best play you've made was that block. Where does that rank with, with plays you've made? What's been the reaction maybe if you see folks around town around campus? Have you gotten a, a good reaction from people about that? Uh, I don't know that rank on the plays I've made. Um, it was, it was, it's up there, though. It was, it was nice to have a little game-saving block, but um, I just did what I could do to help my team win, and um, it's been fun. You got much reaction from other students, or if you go out to eat, or some people say, "Hey, way to go!" Or something. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it was like uh, you guys played a great game, a uh, great block, or this is mostly it. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys don't keep track of this stuff, but the SEC season. This is the fifth year of the Big Twelve Challenge. The SEC's never won it. They tied last year, and before that, the Big Twelve won either seven to three or six to four. 
uh, was that a big deal to you guys to help represent the SEC and hopefully get, get the SEC a, a challenge win this year? Uh, I think it's I, I guess it's kind of big for the the conference, but I think our conference this year is, is way better than the uh, past few years. Everybody's just playing good right now, and everybody got a different team, a different mindset. And it's just gonna be interesting Saturday. Uh, yeah, like I don't really get too much into that. I just uh, look at it as another chance for my team to get better, and we can come out and try to get a win. Yeah. Uh, how do you think Daniels handled not scoring in that game? Because that doesn't happen very often to a guy of his caliber. What have you seen? Uh, I think he's still the same. Daniel Daniels. Uh, he's young, but he understands like what well, uh, the game brings, what it comes with the game. He just got uh, just keep his mindset because he is my roommate. So I think he's alright. Uh, yeah, like he said, he's young, but uh, he was he's hard, he's hard on himself, so he'll bounce back. Uh, Jalen, both you and uh, Daryl made a lot of shots late in the clock the other night. Are y'all comfortable in that situation? You know, you think, okay, I can, I can make something one on one happen if I have to here. Oh yes, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I myself, I think I can uh, just about make any shot I want to, if I if I need to. But I think Daryl just uh, it, it it was good for him that that game that. I think he scored the whole second half, and it was just impressive to just watch it. I was kind of sitting in the corner every time he had the ball, so it was nice to watch it. I just think our confidence right now is good for our team, and as a team, they trust us to have the ball in the late shot clock, so we're going to do what our team give us. State team that averages 15 and a half turnovers. How tough does that make it on you as a guard, knowing that they try to force that many turnovers? Um, I mean, I just try to play my game, not force things. Just comes with open, and just play ball. No, not too much things. Just play basketball. Yeah, I didn't even realize this till later, but Daryl scored 16 of your last 17 points. Trey, you, you had a free throw to, to break it up there. But um, well, I mean, and I know Jalen, you guys can score in bunches. But what do you think of, of Daryl doing that, especially in overtimes? I think it was impressive, because <laughs> he he was scoreless in the first half. And I know I'm pretty sure people thought that was watching like he's not doing too much, but I told him to come on. He he just woke up and he snapped. He got hot. So. Trey, what, what do you think of that 16 out of 17 you know, overtime, double overtime? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't notice that till after the game either. Uh, we was talking about it. Uh, he was scoreless in the first half, and then he just had to see one go in, and then after that, it was pretty much downhill for him. This is kind of like a conference game because Oklahoma State's a Power Five team. But is it weird for you guys to break out of conference here in late January, or you just look at it as, as you know just playing somebody? Just a regular game for us. Yeah, it's just pretty much just the next game on our schedule. Okay.